Okay, so this is about three weeks after I uh, cut the palm tree top off and um, gave it a chance for the needle to grow on the inside. You can see how healthy it is. It's going really nice. I thought it was dying because it's much more gray and um, dry and lighter than the other ones. Right, when you push onto it, it's sturdier and heavier. This one's extra light, very hollow. But uh, when I cut it three weeks ago, the uh, inside was still moist. The center was hard and moist. So that means the needle in the middle was just stuck. If you want to watch the uh, video of when I cut it, I uh, just got to look back three weeks ago. I'll post the exact uh, link for it at the end of this video. But yes, it's, it's healthy, it's got a chance to grow. In the past, um, a friend of mine uh, dug out his uh, palm tree, which is about five feet taller than this one because it was dying and it would rotted. Never thought to uh, do any research until I, I did because this, this palm tree was not growing for eight months and um, all the leaves were dying while the rest were growing very healthy. I planted four more earlier in the spring. Garden is growing nicely. You got a banana leaf growing. Banana leaf growing. These are basil leaves. Actually this is the basil leaves. You're gonna eat it with lamb chops. And then some color succulents that's got yellow flowers tiger lilies yellow tiger lilies maroon, maroon tiger lilies it's, these are just carpet grass quite nice and then uh, here you got the giant rhubarb it's gonna grow five times the size quite nice here you get a sea of green and red grass. Looks quite nice. A hidden pine tree there. More tiger lilies. These I don't know what they are. But they're nice. Add some color. So everything's not so green. And over here you got a twin palm tree. That's very, very rare. More succulents, different kind of succulent. Got white flowers. Very nice. You got a little bit of pink here. Some lavender. That's a weed. But I left it to grow and it actually flowers. Quite nice. Carpet carpet moss. They actually flower little white white things as well. Can't wait for that to carpet all the way around here. And uh, looks nicer than dirt. I refrain from putting um, those little wood chips because they're ugly. That's a lazy way of doing it. This is a nice tree. Very tall, thin. Let's go um, Check on, check out the rest of the garden. Nice green maple. More car carpet grass. Flowering. Got the goldfish and kois. They look like they're hungry, ready to eat. Orange tiger lilies. Green maple. Then you got your turtle. Kids were feeding them. Hello, turtle. Yeah, the turtles are happy here. They can do whatever they want. They can climb up here, go up there, go under the bridge to the fish pond and they can climb up, come back out here whenever they please. See, they just climb underneath here and they get to the other side. See? Oh, there's the, here's the other turtle. He's hiding. 
or she's hiding. Got the waterfall. Once it gets dark, the lights, the landscaping lights will turn on. That's a fake turtle. Oh my gosh, I see it. Kids are playing under the stairs. They're playing board games. <laughs> yep. Under the stairs. That's an LED umbrella. I'll put it up. Okay. Pull that. Kids are under the stairs still playing. I need this piece. Put it in here. And then open up the umbrella. A solar powered LED light. There's a, a button right here. Turn on. You got free lights off for now. More yellow lily, tiger lilies. And I don't know what this is, but it looks like a dragon flower. Peacock plant is what I call it. The way it grows, looks like a peacock. Yes, Japanese maple. Japanese maple. And kids hiding. Created a little hiding spot for the kids to play. Yep. And that's my bonsai tree. How can you see it better? See how I bonsai it? Little pom-poms. <laughs> Japanese maple. Little mandarin orange tree. Green onions. We snip this every week for free green onions. These are uh, vegetables. Smells like mint. Here you got hot peppers. Oh, this one's growing. Almost ready to eat. The, the fruits come right after the flowers. So all these flowers here becomes the pepper afterwards. That's what it's gonna be. This one's uh, a different one. This one's a red kind. Only one looks like it's gonna fruit. So many flowers though. Hmm. We got this dragon here. He gets his own solar powered light. At nighttime he's gonna glow. Lots of vines. Lots of vines. One, two, three, four, five vines. And solar powered lights for the nighttime. Here you got kiwi plants, a male and a female. This is its third year, um, hasn't flowered yet. It'll only produce fruit after it flowers. So, no flowers yet for the last three years. Backyard. Bamboo trees. They grow like weed, but if you prune them, they look very clean and not so messy. Kids' badminton net is in the way, but yeah, so my goal is to get them to grow tall, trim the bottom, it looks nice with a white fence. The top gives us privacy from the neighbors so they don't have to see us.
That's access into the uh, laneway house. Give them some privacy. Here, you got another peacock plant. And some red tiger, tiger lilies. This one's growing. It's gonna flower quite soon. Yeah, I'll set up badminton for you. Oh, these are nice banana leaves. Yes. Okay, I'll set it up for you. Kids want to play badminton, so we're gonna set it up. This is the kids' sand, fine sand. There's no dust, no rocks, no nothing in here. Dry, fine sand. See, no dust. It doesn't even stick to your hand. Very fine, very, very good sand. This one already flowered. Nice pink flowers. Don't worry, set it all up. Okay, time for badminton.